how to test your voltage and your amps. Okay, the first thing you're gonna need is some kind of multimeter and they'll measure your volts and your amperage. Now, I always use the clamp for my amp amperage, just a little easier. So, to do voltage, it doesn't matter if you're checking an element, um, your pump or anything like that. So I'll show you exactly what to check. Now, if your hot tub's not tripping at all, um, it's just not working right. Something's not working right. Say your pump's not working right. It's not heating up. Okay. So it's going to be in a heat tube, just like this one here. So what you're going to do is you're going to do your voltage. There's three ways of really testing your element. There's three ways. Um, voltage, amps, and continuity. Continuity is just see if there's a flow right through, but a lot of times continuity, you know, you could still have a pinhole in this and still not heat, but you'll have continuity here through here. It's just because it's not, um, it's just going past here, even if you have a little pinhole. So you might not have any um, amps through this, but you can have continuity because it's still connected, the steel's connected. So not very often do I use continuity, but I do do all three. I do continuity on the third time if I do voltage first, then amps, and if everything seems fine, then I'll do continuity. But usually you don't have to do all three out in one time, but I'll show you anyway. Okay, grab yourself a meter. So we're gonna go to volts. So you turn it to volts, and we're gonna be here it's DC, we're gonna use AC power. AC power. Get your two leads. So when your element's in, just like this one here, you can put it on these. These leads here are a little different because they're kind of, they're welded in there and you can't, you're not gonna to touch this. You have to go up on the board and touch, but I'll show you here in a second. So on the board, you do voltage like this first or on the element if you can. If you can't get on the element, which is on the heat tube, if you can't, then try to get the two leads that are on the board itself. Like this one here. There's two leads that go up to here right on the board. Now there's so many different packs out there, so many different um, setups but it just gives you a general idea. Whatever you have the two leads coming out, you're gonna have to get it on there without touching anything else. And it's gonna be live when you're testing this stuff. So be very careful. If you're not comfortable with it, you should get an electrician to do it for you just to test everything if it's not working. And, and they're pretty, they have all the meters and everything else. So if you're unsure, if you know somebody will do it, they can do it for you. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna test your for voltage, you're gonna test your element for voltage. So you should get around, if it, your tub's a 240, you should get around 240. Now, if it's above like 245, no big deal, you want it around 240. It could be down to 233, which is fine. You just don't want zero or 100. So when you do the two leads here for voltage, should be around around 240. Now when you do your amperage, amp meter, I'll, I'll link down below these meters. So we're gonna go low, and on this one here has low amperage, so the highest will go is 40 amps and lower. I don't need 400 amps. So again, there's DC, I wanna go AC. So AC. So now all you have to do is put that around the wire. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna put it around one of the leads. So whatever lead it is, you're gonna put it around. So on this one here, particular one, you're just gonna put it around one of the leads. And you just kinda lean it on there like that. And then you'll have whatever you're, right on the heat tube, should have there's kilowatts, there's 240 volts. Normally, um, this is a four kilowatt, so you'll get about 20 amps. So a five, five kilowatt, you'll get about 23 amps. So we want 
So it depends on which element you have. You're going to have the 4 kilowatt or the four, uh, 5 5 kilowatt. So you got to find out which, how many amps. So normally the 5 5s are on 23. The 4 kilowatts normally around 18 to 20. So you just don't want zero. So it should come up about 23 and we have a video on this and I'll link it down below and you should get 23 now if you tested voltage on there and you got 240 volts and then you go amps and you had zero then there's something wrong with the leads there's something wrong with the element so you got to change the element out it could be burnt out or something like that just because there's voltage there and it goes through doesn't mean it's working properly so that's a good another way of testing it so if you have zero replace the element and then the third one would be continuity so you disconnect the two leads that are on your element and then you'd put the two leads on there but you would have to change your meter um, I don't know on this one, but on your meter, we're going to go change it to continuity. And we're going to make sure that we have continuity. So I'm going to move it over. It's touching. So right now, and you do the same thing for your, uh, for your fuses. So continuity through your fuses. So it's good. So we know that fuse is good. So for the element, one on one side, doesn't matter. You can go like that, like that. So you got the beep. This one's continuity. So that's the three ways on how to do an element. So next is your pumps or your ozonator. So your pump's not working right. A lot of times the pumps are hard to get to because they're in the back. You can't really get to a back of a pump while it's on. So it's hard to test and it's really dangerous to test while it's on and if you can't get to the back. So I'm going to show you at the pack how to do it. So again, there's a whole bunch of different types of packs. So we have, if you have this one here, this type, I'll show you two types. Anything that you have coming in here. So you'll have like pump one, pump two, pump three, whatever, circ pump, whatever you have. So whatever problem you have in this, here's your leads right here. It, this one's so easy to test. So when it's plugged in and running, well, even if it's not running, even if you hit the push the power button on, and then for amperage, we're gonna just test amperage on this because it's hard to do the voltage on this. So again, you're gonna change it to AC and you're just going to hold it right against the wire just twist it on there like that and then you you might have to find out what amperage it is first whatever's on the equipment should have amps right on it now if it's a two speed which is a red wire I'll show you in this here in a second but if there's only two wires go on the black and check your equipment to see what the amperage is while it's running and it should be thereabouts, whatever the number is on your equipment. Now, if it's a two-speed pump, you have to take these wires and this clip here off. But now, for a pump, there's high speed. Black is low speed, two different amperage. So you can check your amperage on the pump, what your high speed is, and what your low speed is. So for high speed, so you can hit the button on the top side for high speed, even if the pump's not working, you just want to hear a click. Now, if you don't hear a click on your relay, it could be a relay issue, could be a board issue. So to test it, that's high speed, so it'd be most tubs, high speed would be around 12 amps. So we want it thereabouts, but you have to check your pump to see what the amperage is. And then on black, it's low speed. So you push the button for low speed. You check it, what your low speed is. Normal low speed is approximately four amps. But again, check your pump. 
and this applies to any other equipment you have but it's got to be running if it's not running then you're going to get if, if you know it's running like if you hit the button it's on now if you get zero on any of these and you know it's it's working then there's a problem with the pump so it's in your pump it could be the wiring's gone the windings in it or it could be the capacitor not very often there's other issues with pumps it's usually a capacitor issue or um, if your pump seal has been leaking and spraying back then the windings but not very often does the windings go normally if you get zero here and I doubt that you would because um, you would still get voltage there but your pump just wouldn't work so we know it's a capacitor and you can know we have a video on testing your capacitor you can check that out if you want so that's for that pack now there's another thing too all these wires now I just noticed on this one since you're gonna be you know if you have this off to check it once in a while there's a mouse that's been eating all this this wiring I just noticed it I had to take it out of a customer's pack and this is from the ozonator and I didn't even see it when I took it out I just noticed it earlier here now check your wiring too if it looks like a mouse can get in and they don't you know the hole doesn't have to be that big for them to get in now for this is a newer Balboa pack harder to test because they don't have all the wiring like they do on the other pack so whatever it coincides with and on the back of the board sorry on the back of the the pack there's a schematic right there and it coincides to here if it's pump one pump two whatever the neutral is going to be the closest one to it or right beside it so that one's there that one's there so you just put the clamp around that pump and you should get some kind of amp amperage so for amperage amperage is the biggest thing like you could again you could check voltage and still have a problem with amps so it's good to check your amps so whatever pack you're going to test if you use this one just use all the white words there's two black ones here but just use your neutrals on this one because there's more of the white wires on the bubble now some of your packs might have you'll have like a copper um like a copper solid piece that goes here it's like an l bracket and uh it's hard to get it's hard to get a meter it's hard to get a meter around that and this is this one's a small one too so it's kind of sometimes it's hard to get in there but a lot of this new stuff i can get right in there and test the amperage but if you can get in there and test the volts test the volts you test you follow our videos we have other videos you can you can uh, test things on and you can probably determine what the issue is or just send us a message and um, tell me what the problems are in that and then uh, I'll help you out how to test it. Now if this video helped you out at all make sure you